Hey, what's up everybody? Mark McKinnon here. And today we come to the final chapter in this video series about creating a character for Besom 4th edition. We've gone through all the earlier parts, creating your templates, talking to your game master uh, in advance, going through attributes, adding stats, customizing the attributes as you want, and now defects. So the final step is going to be giving those disadvantages to your character that's going to give you story ideas, it's going to give you plot hooks, and it's going to kind of make your character give them a reason to strive against the odds that they're going to be facing. There's a couple dozen defects that are having in chapter 7, and these are things that return character points to you. So attributes, they will cost you points. Defects give you points back. And once you get a certain number of points back from your defects, then you can go back to the earlier chapters and spend them, uh, the points. Or maybe you've already overspent. Maybe you have a 100-point character that is now 110 points because you've spent too many attributes, and you need four or 10 points of defects in order to get them down to a reasonable level. So with the defects, these are done in ranks the exact same way as uh, attributes are. And it's, rather than being points, it's negative points. The defects are either going to be one, two, or three negative points per level. So these are called, you're going to have your baseline, which of your lesser defects, and then you have your greater defects, and then you have your, uh, your serious defects. So your lesser defects are one, two, or three points back, depending if it's level one, level two, level three. And then your greater defects are two, four, six, and your serious defects are three, six, nine. When you spend these defects and add them onto your character, they're in a separate section on your character sheet. So they're not attributes. They're functionally similar. They're like negative attributes. But you put them in a separate section on your character sheet, and then you, those points are subtracted from the points you spent on your stats, your templates, and your attributes. And that'll add up together when you subtract the defect points to the total number of character points. You can have a lot of fun with these defects. They describe the general outline of what they do, but of course some of the specifics are up to you. So, for example, curse in here. So maybe you say, well, my character is cursed. Well, the level two, four, or six points back that you're going to get for them, describe it as uh, the curse imposes a slight disadvantage versus a moderate disadvantage versus a severe disadvantage. So they don't describe what the curse is. That's for you and the game master to determine. That's where the effects-based system comes in. What is the effect of the curse? And maybe you come up with the parameters that's going to have a certain things that are going to affect your character, and the GM may say, well, that sounds pretty severe, so let's give you back the six points. Defects in Chapter 7 is the last thing you have to do when you're creating character. You take all those points that you have, and then now you go back to your either your templates or your stats or your attributes and you spend those additional points. You can also of course just bank them for the future if you're going to be going on a longer campaign and, and have advanced points later on if you don't know where to spend them. But once you add up everything together, stick to the number of character points that you were given during your stage one of your character creation during that session zero so you have the total number of points. The last step after defects isn't something you have any choice on and these are just your derived values. This is chapter eight. And the reason why it's not going to get its own video is because you don't get to choose anything. You just follow the formula. So your health points is determined by what your body stat is, what your soul stat is. You add them together, multiply by five, that's how many hip, uh, health points you have. There's energy points and there's a damage multiplier. So this is a very brief chapter uh, in chapter eight that can describe derived values. But after you finish your defects, your point selection is going to be effectively done. So we hope that over this short video series, you've got a chance to start your character from beginning to end, where you get together, you talk to the players and your game master about what the parameters of your character is going to be and what the world setting is going to be. Then you're moved into selecting your templates. So you're going to select a race, you're going to select the class, and maybe even select the size. Then you customize those uh, by adding on your baseline stats then you're going to be adding on your attributes, which you're customizing with enhancements and limiters. And then finally, your defects. You're going to give some disadvantages to your character, usually between, say, one and three. You probably don't want to go much higher than that. You don't want to cripple your character uh, and make them unplayable by giving them so many defects. But once you finish all that, your character's done and ready for the gaming table. So this short video series was really just to give you a foundation. We encourage you to... Uh, 
interact online. We have lots of fans, great fans on our Facebook page, on the Discord channel that we have uh, set up that, uh, that's a fan Discord channel. There's so much great discussion going on there. But this video series is designed to give you a foundation and now you can take it to the next step. So join our social media feeds, take a look at what's out there, create the characters of your desire and have an awesome anime or manga role-playing experience. Thanks again, and we'll see you in another video.